Hey everybody, welcome to Spoiler Warning. I'm Mumbles. I'm Josh. And I'm Seamus. And are we still on Tatooine? I feel like I feel like Luke. It's like, we, is it time to leave Tatooine yet? And uh, and the game is like Uncle Owen. You need to stay on for one more season. Well, I, I was just, just <laughs> going to Tashi Station to pick up some power converters. You said that wrong. No, you have to You're... say, I was going to Tashi Station to pick yeah. up some power converters. I, nobody can oh, do yeah. that whining. <laughs> I can't believe that's the voice of the Joker. That man has a magical voice. <laughs> they can just, it's a chameleon voice. That's amazing. So, so I see Josh. we're going to the uh, Mumbles. What can I do? Josh, today? can I see your light side versus dark side points? Por oh, favor. Sure. Oh, let's, you're busted. Let's take now, a gander. Buddy. What? You're busted. <laughs> uh, yep. It's actually it's it's you know it's no. kinda of grapey level. It's kinda of grapey. Uh, so what we're gonna do this week is get it farther down closer to the red. It's gonna be a red oh, week. No, no, That's no, what no, we're no, gonna no, do. No. I, I like yeah, the yeah, idea yeah, of us yeah, yeah. Also so that I can put up on the good the good headset. Then we can I go write. back down to red and until like uh, I until like one idea. point oh, no. where it takes all your clothes off in the game because that happens several times actually. But yeah. I, I like the idea that during the course of this journey, you can go, you can fall to the dark side and recover like four times. <laughs> Right. Yeah. yeah, fall again, recover. <laughs> hey, it's a weekend thing. The dark side is not <laughs> alcoholism <drunk>. for Crimson. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I was alright for a while, but then I did some dark side and I just I just <laughs> some dark side man. I just like help myself. A, some sort of like addictive drug is a narcotic. <laughs> I was okay until that okay, guy I'm in just... the bar offered me a death stick and the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I, I, okay, I'm just gonna have this dark. I'm gonna have this dark side this week, just because I'm having a bad week. But I swear to God, I'm gonna taper off next week. Going okay, in. I swear to God. <laughs> How big can this dragon be? Don't ever ask that question, because it's always gonna be a giant fucking dragon. I love the you cover can see his head it animation from here. I love the cover his head animation. Yes, that is what a hunter should do, is cover his temples with his hands. <laughs> I want to, before we do this the proper way, I want to show off the... So you think, like, maybe this is like the Rancor fight where it's just really hard, but, uh... It's not what actually happens. This dragon's just chilling. Why are we killing this dragon? He's just living his star life. Map. Its butt is on the star map. It's sitting oh, on the star map. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your entire party has been killed. Return to the main <laughs> What? <laughs> so is lame. that really what happens? This is really oh, what so happens. Lame. Super lame. You don't get to fight it. That's so lame. A crate dragon. I believe it's been misadvertised. I wanted to come in here and it would be a great big wooden crate. <laughs> Quick, someone make fun of Twi'leks. Hey, one longer Tony. Something. That's that's one Klaatu, of them singing. Verata. <laughs> Nick. <J> <coughs> 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 oh, Why should we kill this beast that is the thing that's in the ops? That's the obstacle for the star map. Okay, let's use this. Can we do so? It would be great if we could do some dark side thing where you could just take this guy and be like, no, guess what? You're bait. And you would use him as bait to lure <laughs> yes. the dragon out. That would be that would be a great dark side option. I don't know if like, there actually no, is a dark this. side option for killing no, this dragon. No, I don't dragon. think there is. You can't I don't fight think it. there is. Yeah, I, I think that would be a dark you side thing to do. To it's like, with this. okay, I don't care about you. I want to meet my goal. Um... I'm just gonna hang you on the end of a stick and just yeah. lose the dragon away. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna make you eat this mine and then I'm going to throw you into the great dragon lair. I'm gonna tie and, you, you know, into this oh, fishing pole out. kind of stick and tape the stick to the great dragon's head so that as he chases you, he'll just be running constantly in one direction away from me. Why would I want to do this? 
Oh, profit. I see. You might select challenge. Glory. What the... Okay. There's a pearl? I hope you get a damage bonus if you headbutt somebody while wearing that stupid headset. <laughs> Actually, you would get a damage bonus to yourself. It yeah. hurts so bad. You could like try and slice someone's face open with it. Like it seems like it's sharp enough, like the metal yeah. parts. You could kind of peck them to death. Oh, yeah, that sounds nice. <laughs> oh, is he still talking? He is. This I'm is... sure whatever it is, it's totally important. But you can't right, fight God, him fairly, I'll kill the dude. Dumb dragon. You just it oh. it kill it's a game over. And then you have to reload. That's how it works. Oh good, it's a fetch quest instead of a cool boss battle. All right then. Way to go, Bioware. Thanks. Uh, there, there that are sand people thing. that will teleport in and be really mad that we're sending Banthas to their death, even though Crate Dragons apparently feed on Banthas. Yeah, so. isn't this not? Oh, whatever. Hey, you know, Can we just Bioware feed sand finally. People to him? <laughs> you know, Bioware, you know, we complain that they're sidestepping this this potential boss fight, but given that they're boss fights, how their boss fights usually work, this Fair is enough. probably for the best. Yeah. Yeah. This ain't gonna be no Force it's Unleashed fight, that's for sure. <laughs> Just Say what you want about Force Unleashed. I liked- oh, I played on the Wii and it was fun. It knew how it was to have fun. Probably it was the best ridiculous version. as hell, but it it knew yeah. how to have fun. It if was only pulpy. because it didn't have the the incredibly shitty bring the star destroyer down sequence. That was just a cutscene. Oh, that was oh, the worst. Yeah. I didn't even know what the it game was. It was really from me. really bad on the other versions oh, of the game I remember because that. it like it was like a, a fifteen minute boss fight where like. High fighters would be flying around, yes. and you just have to kind of like balance that versus uh, um, the hacking game from Arkham. Just actually pulling Arkham this Star City, Destroyer down, where you just have to tune the sticks to the right position. Yes. Oh, 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 oh the worst. It was bad. Look, we'll just pile all of these sand people's bodies on, up okay. in front of the cave and then the dragon will be happy. I don't know why oh, we're not you, doing you that. like my uh what I made Bastila wear? Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> it's very evil looking. I figured it was appropriate for some reason. Oh, do I need to go back here? <laughs> Does HK have clothes that he again? wears that makes him look different? Or is he just always that red robot model? You should be able to put a bow tie a on him. That would question. be great. Oh my gosh! Right? Wouldn't he look cute with a bow tie? <laughs> bow tie and a top hat? Oh my god! That would be amazing! And a, and a fake mustache. <laughs> so we can twirl it once in a while. Yes. <laughs> it, it like spins oh like a goodness. propeller. Oh my goodness! We fixed this game. We did it. That's all it needs to be fixed. <laughs> Interjection. That was the, the I will now spin my mustache. That <laughs> HK was not dapper enough. I am a dragon. Oh no, my my arms. So, this is a very big Pokemon you're, you're facing here. They, they... There was oh, a, a, so a point in the old EU canon where they expanded upon Crate Dragons a bit. Reveal, uh, revealed that there were even bigger ones with like eight legs that swam through sand. Let's talk Sounds about like why that would work <laughs> for a minute here, because sand is maybe if he was like a worm, is like yeah, it was kind of a dune worm, but like even then, 
Yeah. Swimming through sand. Physics. That's and of why course, that means. <laughs> Before you write something, you like, oh, I want to write about sand. Maybe you should go out and touch sand for once in your dumb life, you nerd. <laughs> Maybe you should look at a desert. Go outside and touch. It's like when people write about guns and then they don't put any recoil in their guns or they put too much recoil and you're like, you've never shot a gun before. Okay. Maybe you should have shot a gun before you wrote about them. <laughs> In defense of this, we just spent an hour praising Fallout 4, and that game has several different monsters that tunnel through solid irradiated That's rock. True. <laughs> and in that game, I never even questioned it. Should oh I yeah, is a roll mat, a uh, mole rat. Oh hello. Tunnels through the ground. Of course it mole does. Mole rat. A roll mat. But All right, course. I'm a Jedi Master now. I've got a Jedi Master robe. That's how it works. So when I got oh. yet another you purple go crystal. Go back and find Master Varuk and like, guess what? <laughs> guess what? Guess who outranks you now, <laughs> asshole? Go clean my toilet. Would you outrank Varuk though? He's a master that's on the council. I think that's like you just gotta big, get a bigger, higher. fancier hat than his, or like pin a medal to your outfit. Yes. It says number one Jedi on it. <laughs> get a mug. Get best Jedi in the world mug. Be like, Galaxy's I have this best mug. Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> little doubt that we have found the star map you were seeking. I am surprised it is still working after all this time. I do not think it is mere chance that we have found the star map here. Uh, yeah, just dragon. clean all the crate dragon poop of off of it, side. and we can just check this thing <laughs> out. <laughs> Tatooine also always has the problem of like, well, okay, there's really big wildlife on this planet, but like, nothing else for us here. why? It's, it's as far as we can tell, a planet that is entirely a desert. Where's the, the photosynthesizing stuff? Yeah. Where is, where does the yeah. energy for this ecosystem come from? Because there don't seem to be yeah. very many plants. And even yeah, the, the settlers are more concerned about, like, farming water for some reason. Yeah, like these do big old, the, uh, do we have yeah, they're thingies. moisture evaporators, which is basically their nuclear-powered yeah. dehumidifiers. Oh. So. Do we have the pearl? Where the hell is it? Where the hell are our, uh, here we go. I don't even want to think about how a dragon makes a pearl. Like, I already know how clams do it. It's, I don't, yeah, I don't it's that, know. basically. <laughs> Did I miss it? Check again. Maybe it pooped it out. Check the poop. Look, it went away. Oh. Ooh, I wish bodies up. in Fallout 4 would do that so my settlement wasn't oh. covered in fucking ghouls that one that diner killed. that you go to that her her she, her son was hooked on on drugs and every time you yeah. go to her shop there's more bandits and so now her entire shop it looks like she's like this mad killer because her entire property is just covered with dead raiders that spawn every time you go there oh god oh, what force power should we get what Oh wait, should we get Old Republic? That's right. We're not playing Fallout powers? 4, Josh. <laughs> Quit. Yeah. <laughs> What's your problem? What are you... Or should we Why get Why did you bring up life? Fallout 4? Do the evil one. Take the most evil thing. No, that take you could the be. boring, stupid lights. That... No, no. Just listen to Mumbles. I, I've already like, got. Yeah. I don't have the heart. I don't me. have the heart to oppose her on this. <laughs> I'm um... cute and evil. Listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> that one that lifts people up and spins them around is pretty hilarious looking. I mean, even if it's yeah. not useful, it's, I've already it's got that one. Um, oh, do the life drain one oh. then. The yeah, life drain is probably a good one to get. I yeah. the first time I did a a, a build in this game was a, uh, I think I was actually a guardian at, at the time. Uh, I I didn't get force lightning, but I got life drain. And, and Death Field. Death Field, by the way, is the best name for a fucking cool. uh, power in all of Star Wars. If we start a metal band, we should be called Death Field. <laughs> I'm hoping that I have the pearl. It wouldn't be in show like. It here, but it's I, I don't be think in you like... can't not get. It. Oh, here it is. 
quest items. Pearls. Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. Um, if I recall, oh wow, look at look at our credit score here. <laughs> seven really seven good... seven seven. Maybe we're Jesus. Maybe we're super. Is that Jesus. a Jesus number? Is that a super Jesus saint number? Jesus. It oh, adds an extra seven onto this seven seven seven. <laughs> I didn't know that about Jesus. No, I didn't know not, he it's added not, seven. It's six. not canonical. It's just some people assume well, six 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 is the devil. Then uh, Jesus oh. must have an opposite number, right? And so then they came up with this. So it's just people oh. being stupid. Oh. Oh. I don't. I I get. I think the crate dragon pearl is like actually not that good as an addition to a lightsaber. It doesn't list the stats on the screen, but I, I don't think Why I remember it thinking it it's was a plot thing. Particularly you would good. you get it no matter what. You get it's not right. like you earned it. You didn't but earn it. You only that get one of pearl. them. Yeah. But still, you didn't earn it. It's not like you like went to this optional giant crazy ass boss and then got a pearl. This is like something that you get no matter what. So why would it have good stats? You got it right? from poaching. And you didn't even yeah. figure it out yourself. Some other guy told you how to do the poaching. For, and he told you with talking a lot. Like, way too much talking. Like, shut up already. Anyway, That's enough. Let's go back to the Sand People, say hi, and talk about the Star Wars Expanded Universe for a bit. Oh, oh boy. It's you mean the stuff that's not going to matter once the new movie comes out, Joshua? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Oops, I skipped HK saying something. Translation. Are we going to kill all these people? Can we kill all of these no, people? No, we need the light side points. No, we do not. We need the dark side points. Let's kill them. You seriously need to taper off there, Mumblo. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna kill you. That much dark side is bad. No, I was born on the dark side. Oh. Here is a dragon pearl. <laughs> oh, this trinket. Yeah, I found it over there. <laughs> he never He's thought he could fire. return with such an item. Such a thing has not been done in many years. Translation. Well, it wasn't but very impressive, so it's probably good that he wasn't there to watch. Why are we yeah, meeting their storyteller? Because he can tell us about... So this is a really, like, interesting, weird bit of lore. Because this... In the Star Wars Expanded Universe, this game is sort of the thing that launched a lot of crazy theories about Tatooine. Translation. Trans like, um, what kind of crazy theories about... Like, theories such as Tatooine is the human homeworld, and... Tatooine is Earth, which admittedly is not a particularly good theory because Tatooine has two sons. Oh, shit, <laughs> that is but, the shittiest Jesus theory. <laughs> but th the whole tagline of Star Wars is it happened uh, pretty far away. Yeah, and well, kind of a long time ago. Much attention to that. Like, oh, pretty far away. He says up front. That's silly. That's silly nonsense. <gasps> oh my god, it's a Jawa! Oh, they're so cute! <laughs> they're so cute! I want to hug them and kiss their little rat faces. Oh my god. They talk really <laughs> fast in this game, incidentally. That makes it even better. Where is Jawas the are my favorite. This is not the story. If I could play a Star Wars game as a Jawa, I would. I would do that. I actually... I... There were some people Jawa when I was Jedi. playing Star Wars Galaxies that were role playing yeah. as Jawas. Oh, I think I did that. I think me and Randy did that for a while. That that <laughs> might yeah. <laughs> that was us. <laughs> oh, this is the storyteller here. Tell me a story, storyteller. So the the sand people have an oral history because they don't they don't have writing and I believe that like the idea of writing something down cheapens it. 
translation. Um, I want to make an interesting point about oral history. Is the idea behind like like the the general perception of oral history is that oral histories are horribly unreliable and should never be even considered for uh, for the purposes of determining like historical events or, or past history or whatever. Um, this is true to an extent, but we've discovered certain things like in India. Um, you can have, uh, you know, multiple tribes, and it's not terribly true anymore because India is is fairly well connected now, but, like, in the past, you would have, like, historians go in and talk to tribes and learn their oral histories and discover that, like, two tribes that are very far removed from one another um, have an extremely similar oral history that could not have been, you know, <laughs> just composed very recently because they had contact, because they were very clearly out of contact with one another for a very long time. Um, and this is because of certain things like um, rhyme and meter that you can weave into oral histories and use this as an error-checking system. Um, so, like, if you, you know, recite an, an oral history that is supposed to stick to a particular rhyming pattern, and you recite it wrong, and, and it doesn't story, rhyme right, yeah. then, it, then people know something's wrong. That's awesome. That's a fun. That's like the most interesting thing you've ever said, Josh. Like easily. Oh, that's awesome. Never speak again. <laughs> never speak again. Don't ruin it. Yep, I'm retiring for spoiler warning. Seamus <laughs> is gonna play now. <laughs>